everyone. I felt inspired to share a story that may shake up um, some of you watching and it may cause a little bit of uh, maybe a trigger. So trigger warning <laughs> for those of you watching. This video may trigger you. Uh, as you can see by the title, uh, the title is what? A shaman got the jab? I was speaking to a shaman that I, I, I respect very deeply this week. A shaman from Cusco, Peru. This is a shaman who comes from a long line of indigenous Inca shamans from the Amazon jungle. This is a shaman that, uh, who, whose entire family are shamans. And he told me that, that he got the jab. And I was shocked when he said it. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that he, of all people, would get the jab. I, I, was, I was speechless, really. I was speechless when I heard it. At first I asked him why, and he said, I mean, it helps him travel, helps him get through the things that he needs to get through right now. He also said that he got a special version of it that is a lot safer and, and uh, it's not one of the mainstream ones that you see uh, in the media or you see on the news. When I asked him, well, why would you do that? Aren't you concerned about the risks? Aren't you concerned about all of the, all of the things that, that, that are floating around about how dangerous it could be? And, and the ways that it could affect your body and, and the ways that it, it could cause sickness or, or different uh, disabilities and everything else. And he humbled me, as he has many times since the beginning of my shamanic journey. He humbled me with his answer. And I hope that when I share his answer with you, if you're somebody that's afraid of the jab or if you're somebody that's, that's uh, uh, afraid of your family getting it, or you're afraid that you need to get it, I hope that this answer humbles you in the way it humbled me. He said, yeah, you know, he said that, that it's a little concerning. He said, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about it. He said, but I, I am not a victim of my external circumstances. He said, the external world has no, has no uh, ability to affect my internal world. He said, I am still in control of my cells. I am still in control of my body. I am still in control of my energy. He said, nothing outside of me can affect me unless I let it affect me. Nothing outside of me can harm me unless I let it harm me. And so for that reason, he decided to get a version of the jab that allows him to travel right now and allows him to continue to do the work that he does. Now I get, I get, I get that this is for a lot of people, it's against their values. I'm not saying that I'm going to get it. I'm not saying that I'm going to comply. Uh, where I'm at right now, I'm still staying, staying strong and determined with the I do not comply. This is not something that I uh, consent and I don't agree that I should have to, that I should be forced to take anything or put anything in my body that I don't need to put into my body. But on the, on the other hand, his philosophy of, of uh, uh, non-resistance and, and trusting that this universe is God, everything. There's nothing separate from the creator. Everything is the creator. So to trust that what's happening is necessary for the growth and the evolution of us as humanity, uh, as human beings, uh, is a philosophy that I also have to say that I agree with. So. I feel a little bit, what's the word, I guess, uh, conflicted. I feel conflicted by, by the way, uh, by, by, by what I learned. I, I feel conflicted that he got the jab because I never expected to hear that from him. I never expected an indigenous shaman whose family and ancestors were murdered by uh, the elite religious uh, uh, military industrial complex that has been ruling the world for who knows how long. I was shocked to hear that he complied and that, and that he got this jab. I was very surprised to hear that he got it. But again, for those of you who are just joining, when I said, aren't you concerned? Aren't you worried? Aren't you worried that it can hurt you? Aren't you worried that it can hurt your family? He reminded me that he is the master of his domain. He commands the cells of his body. He commands his immune system. He commands his nervous system. 
he commands his mind and his energy. And so if he believes that it's going to hurt him, then it might hurt him. If he believes that it's not going to hurt him, it won't hurt him. Wim Hof has proven that we can fight off uh, poisonous toxins and viruses and so much more using just our breath. So does this jab have the ability to hurt us? Only if we believe it. Does the virus have the ability to hurt us? Only if we believe it. If I'm not loving my body, if I'm not taking care of my immune system, if I'm not taking care of my nervous system, then I am susceptible to external factors. I'm susceptible to viruses. I'm susceptible to poisons. However, if I'm, if I'm taking care of my mind, if I'm healing my soul, if I'm loving my body, then I am impervious to external factors. I am the master of my domain. I am the master of my nervous system. I am the master of my immune system. I am the master of the cells in my body. So when he told me this, I was reminded that the true virus that we're experiencing now is fear. The only virus is fear. I believe that all of it is a trap set by the Creator to separate the worthy from the unworthy, the believers from the unbelievers, the faithful from the fearful. If you're following a path of fear, then mark my words, you will experience a world of fear. If you are experiencing a, a, a walking a path of faith, then you will experience a world of faith. But that is the only virus. That is the only risk. That is the only fear. If I believe that I'm at risk, then I will be at risk. If I, am, if I believe that I am safe, then I will be safe. But at the end of the day, it's me and how I command my mind, my heart, and my spirit that will determine whether or not I get sick from the virus or whether or not I get sick from the jab, whether or not I get sick from the media or whether or not I get sick from the government. I am the master of my domain. This is the gift the Creator gave me. This is the gift I've been given at birth. This is the gift I continue to carry with me every moment of the day. Now again, I'm not saying that I'm going to get the jab because at this point it's not necessary for me. If there's a way that I can get around it or avoid it or figure out another way, I will figure it out. I will find a way. And there are many ways to get around it, my friends. If you will it, it will be so. If you will it, a way will be made. If you hold the vision, the vision will manifest. This is the way, this is the law, and the law cannot be broken. So if you're feeling trapped, if you're feeling stuck, if you have family members who have taken the jab and you're afraid for them, let go of that fear, because that fear is more dangerous than anything that's in their body. That fear is more dangerous than the virus, it's more dangerous than the cure. Your fear is more dangerous than anything that they can come up against and that you can come up against. I believe that what we are seeing right now is, as I mentioned a moment ago, it's an opportunity to choose faith or to choose fear, to separate the worthy from the unworthy, the awakened from the unawakened. If you, are, if you believe you're awake but you're still seeing fear and corruption and evil in the world, then you're still waking up, my friend. You're not fully awake yet. If you look around and all you see is peace and love, oneness and unity, brothers and sisters waking up and brothers and sisters who are still waking up, then you are home and you have found the place you're looking for. If you're not there, it's okay. You'll get there. You'll get there. As you open your heart, as you cleanse your mind, and as you align your spirit, you'll find your way home. And you'll realize that there were no evil elites. There were no corrupt leaders. There were no people out to get us. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I might sound like a hypocrite right now. Last year, when I was caught up in all of this, when I was sucked into the drama, I believed it. I believe there are evil elites running the world. I believe there are corrupt leaders uh, taking away our freedoms. I believe that there are evil forces at work. But I've 
surrendered that belief. I've given that belief back to where it came from, which is where fear comes from in the first place. Darkness begets darkness. Light begets light. You can't walk into a dark room and open the window and push the darkness out. You have to turn the light on. That's how the darkness is dispelled. So if you're experiencing darkness in your life, it's an opportunity for more light, not for more darkness. For more faith, not for more fear. So if you have a family member who may have gotten the jab, if you have a friend who you're concerned about, if you have a loved one who you're worried about right now, I encourage you and I ask you, please let go of your fear. Make choices that are best for you. Yes. Choose what you will choose that's aligned with your heart. Yes. But respect others' choices. Don't curse them with your words. Don't damn them with your thoughts. Because that's what we do when we give in to fear. That's what we do when we say, hey, you have to be afraid of this thing because I heard, because I read, because I saw a video, because I heard a rumor. The truth is, I don't personally know anyone who's gotten seriously sick from the virus or seriously sick from the cure. In my world, it's just an illusion. And if it exists in your world, maybe the illusion has become too much of a reality for you. And it's time to remember that all of reality is an illusion. Even these words right now, there is no Ricky Goodall. There's only you reminding you to open your heart, cleanse your mind, purify your soul, and find your way back home. Because we're all waiting for you. And the party's already started. It's time to celebrate. Heaven is here. Paradise is here. Utopia is here. Freedom is here. Pleasure is here. Peace is here. As soon as it becomes here. And we find it inside of our soul. Thank you for watching, everyone. Just to be clear, I respect your choices for or against. Right now, it's not for me. COVID's not for me. The, the, the jab is not for me. The narrative is not for me. The drama is not for me. The fear is not for me. I don't live in that world. I live in a world of peace and freedom, my friends. I live in a world of happiness and bliss and pleasure. And sometimes when I fall out of that world and I dip into the darkness and I entertain and indulge in the illusion, I always remember at some point that it is just an illusion, that everything's okay, I'm safe, I'm loved, I'm supported, and so are my friends and family. In fact, what I just said there is the mantra I wake up and repeat to myself 108 times with a set of mala beads. Everything is okay, I'm safe, I'm loved, I'm supported, and so are my friends and family. Everything is okay, I'm safe, I'm loved, I'm supported, and so are my friends and family. Everything is okay, I'm safe, I'm loved, I'm supported, and so are my friends and family. Thank you for watching, everyone. I love you. I believe in you. I believe in us. We deserve the world that we've all been waiting for, and we will get there because we are already home. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know in the comment section if this video resonated with you. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to contribute to this topic. And if you're still struggling, if you're still having a hard time finding the light in this darkness, I have resources for you. I've got some free master classes. I've got some free video courses. I've got some free audio books. Send me a message. If you're struggling, if you're stuck in the dark and you just can't get out, send me a message. I'll share some resources with you. I'm happy to help you find your path. Although you don't need me because the answers are already inside of you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.